that guy back there so everyone knows that I have hydro flask. <laughs> I also have this basket of scrunchies. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, you would know I love a good haul. But in today's haul video, I spent all of my money to be a Visco girl. I'm gonna just... I'm back. So everything y'all see in this video is Visco Girl approved by me because I'm a Visco Girl. My friend got an email from a brand the other day saying that I was one of the people leading the way for Visco Girls. I want to show you guys everything that I recently picked up when I was trying to be a better Visco Girl. I hope you guys like this video. I love filming hauls, so if you guys like seeing them, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite clothing store is. Also, I have a couple of giveaways happening at the moment and the rules are just to follow me on Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, then come follow me. This is it right here. Let's start. First things first, your girl needs to take care of her skin and we all know the Visco Girls are out here loving rose water face spray. We have to get that. I need to do a little skincare situation before I put on my natural Visco Girl makeup. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my Fartier Luna Mini 2. I'm so excited that they're sponsoring today's video. Y'all, I bought one of these when I was in America in April. My skin was like dull and kind of bumpy. This is the Luna Mini 2 by Fartier. It's an enhanced T-Sonic facial cleansing massager. She's got eight. <laughs> different massage intensities so you guys can customize your skincare experience give yourself a little at home pamper spa day your girl's skin has just been super soft very healthy and just like cleaner overall i'm going to start off by just dampening my face and then i'm just going to wet my luna mini 2 i'm just going to put some cleanser on it okay i have water on literally everything right now i'm just going to glide it across my face in circular motions until the timer signals that it's done this is how i cleanse my skin I've been so freaking busy recently, so I love that when I use the Luna Mini 2, it's just like one minute and I've given myself a little skin treatment. And I also love that it enhances the absorption of my skincare. I've been using this before a workout just to make sure that I'm not hindering the removal of any toxins so we don't get clogged pores. And then after I work out, I just remove any of like the sweat or dirt that may have built up so I get to finish feeling like I have super clean, healthy skin. Overall, it's just super freaking cute and small, super travel friendly. It's also got a gentle and hygienic silicone design so it's resisting the buildup of bacteria we love i'll link everything down below so you guys can check out the luna mini 2 by Fario. so anyways i'm gonna go put on my super natural visco girl makeup plus a winged eyeliner because i don't know if i can do my makeup without a winged eyeliner Okay, so now that I am ready for the day and I have my oversized t-shirt on and I am officially in true Visco Girl form, I am going to do a haul of all the things that I've gotten recently. All of this stuff is Visco Girl approved by me. Let's do it. First things first, I got some stuff from Princess Polly. I got a pair of jeans. These are just like mom jeans. Guys, these jeans were so expensive, but they make my butt look really good. I tried to justify it and I was thinking they weren't as expensive as a gym membership. So like, I don't know. Something that every Visco girl has is, <laughs> freak, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I can't talk about Visco girls without being slightly sarcastic. Anyways, I got an oversized t-shirt. This one says poison. It's super cool. I've actually wanted this off of their website for like two months. I just felt like this video was a perfect chance for me to finally buy it. I got a dress. This is a very freaking tight dress. I actually cannot put this on my body unless someone else zips it up at the back. It has a leg slit, which I, I don't know how visco girl that is of me to have this leg slit here, but I feel like it would look really cute with a t-shirt underneath or not with a t-shirt underneath. I don't know. This is cute. As if I didn't say the word cute enough, now I have another word visco and I I'm literally the most annoying YouTuber. I got this boob tube, which is honestly probably the cutest piece of clothing that I'm ever gonna put on my body. And it was only $20. So I felt like this would look so cute with this white pair of linen shorts. It's not the cutest outfit. And then I obviously had to get this shell necklace. I didn't own one of these before. So really I wasn't a real Visco girl until this moment in my life. I couldn't get a necklace that had only like real shells. This one just has one real 
real shell, which is so random. I already filmed the try on portion of this video, which took me like three hours, by the way. You're welcome. When I filmed it, I got makeup on all of this clothing. This also has makeup on it, but I got this little like cami top, kind of overpriced for the fact that it is literally just a white singlet top with the word Athens on it. But I'm just gonna justify it by saying that I'm trying to be a Visco girl in this video and I felt like this was very Visco girl. Honestly, Visco girls must not have a lot of money because I feel like they have the cutest clothes ever. Like Visco girls shop in a brandy like every week. I don't have a brandy. If I did have a brandy near me, just know that it would be in this video. I got this skirt. It looks very ugly on camera. I think it looked okay in the overlay, so I'm gonna put that right here. I think that's what you guys are watching. Look, oh, doesn't it look so much cuter on my body? Wow, amazing. Told you that it looked better when I wore it than when I hold it up like this. <laughs> I feel like Visco girls, honestly, just if they're not wearing oversized t-shirts, they're wearing crop t-shirts, so we had to get some of those. We got this one, which looks like it was from Brandy Melville, but like I said, we don't have that here. Shout out to Princess Polly for hooking it up with the Brandy Melville-esque butterfly t-shirt. We love all three of these shirts that I'm showing you look like they're from Brandy Melville, but they're not. And unlike Brandy Melville, no tea, no shade, actually a little bit of shade. These come in more than one size. <gasps> wow. Hello, Brandy Melville. Maybe you should take a leaf out of Princess Polly's book. Anyways, I got this one, which is super cute. It's a little see-through, but if you just wear like a nude bra, it's fine. Or no bra, if that's your thing. And then the last thing that I got from Princess Polly is this. I feel like if any of you guys get this, I would size up because this is so tight, I can barely not breathe, but it still looks cute though, so kind of worth it. Next to Brandy Melville, the second most Visco girl store you could probably shop at is Urban Outfitters. First things first, I got this oversized sweater situation. I feel like I mentioned Adeline in every second video that I post on my YouTube channel. This reminds me of her, so look at how cute it is. Adeline, I feel like you should buy this. Oh, I feel like the sunglasses are actually dying. I'm not sure if that's Adeline's vibe. I just sized up so that I could wear it as a dress. We got another little cropped singlet top. This one says... Give yourself time. That took me way too long to read that. I held this top up and showed Kane two seconds ago and he told me it was ugly, so we don't like Kane anymore. <laughs> That's funny now. <laughs> <laughs> I would break up with him again, but we already did that. Everyone else doesn't like these jokes, but I think they're so funny. Also, side note, I posted a video a couple of weeks ago and everyone was saying that in the video I looked like I was gonna cry and no offense guys. I know you might be looking for something dramatic, but I wasn't gonna cry in the video. Oh! I also got this shirt from Urban Outfitters and it's so cute that I had to put it on my body straight away. Wow. So visco. And then the last thing that I got from Urban is this oversi oversized, no, baby doll, baby doll dress. I'm not really sure if this is baby doll. I'm just gonna go with baby doll, but if it's wrong, I'm aware that it's probably wrong. So please don't come for me. Actually, come for me if you want to. I really don't care. <laughs> is this gingham? Wow, I'm just struggling with this dress. This is what I got. I'm gonna stop speaking about it because I feel like I'm sounding very stupid. I'm just gonna kick it off with my favorite thing that I got off ASOS, which is this flannel shirt that honestly is long enough that I could wear it as a dress. Also, I feel like I never mentioned this in any of my whole videos, but I'm gonna link all of this stuff down below. So if y'all wanna check it out, check the links down below. But this is my freaking favorite. Like what the heck? It's like the perfect color. So I think this is like my fourth oversized t-shirt in this video. This one says, I survived Clavy Falls. I don't know where that is. Um, sometimes when I wear shirts like this, it's the same as wearing like a band tee and you don't like listen to that band. I'm scared that someone's gonna actually be like, oh my God, I've been to Clavey Falls. How awesome is it there? And then I'm gonna be like, it was great. <laughs> if you see me and I'm wearing this t-shirt, please don't ask me how Clavey Falls was. We got a little crop top situation. This one is very tiny. I put it on for the try on part of this video. I really like it. Honestly, the next thing I saw online and I really liked it, but then as soon as I saw it in the packet, I was like, I am 100% returning that. That is so freaking ugly. But then I tried it on and I kind of liked it, so I don't know. Maybe I just like ugly things. My best friend Holly is like, yeah, you do. So it's this. <laughs> this looks so 
ugly when I hold it up. I really like it if it's like rolled up and tucked into like your bra. Any other way, I think it's kind of ugly. Do you guys like this t-shirt? Here is another item of clothing that I already got makeup on and I've earned it for about one second, but it's this little button up. Honestly, I don't really have anything to say about this top other than the fact that it is pretty. Me trying not to say the word cute. I don't know what this material is. Blanket material? I'm probably gonna return these because the footholds are so small that to like put these on, it's like a workout. I feel like this isn't really visco, but it's just this long sleeve. This would look so cool underneath the dress that I showed you guys earlier. This dress, I feel like this will look really cute underneath this in like the fall time or something. I feel like every haul I've ever posted is a Visco Girl clothing haul, honestly. When Visco Girls became a thing, I was like, that is me. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more Visco Girl videos. Comment down below what your favorite clothing store is, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!